Hi guys and welcome to this short video where I will show you how to schedule a layout in a different ways and how to use the scheduling feature um, in a more advanced way. So before you watch this video, just make sure you watch the previous video. There is an introduction video and there is a layout video to get you started. So let's get into it. So simply click on here, schedule. Here we go. And here you will arrive to the scheduling page. And before we start, let's check what are the possibilities and what are the options when you are scheduling something. So the little hours here means that, you know, an event is always showing. We actually have two of those over here. It means it will show all the time, 24 seven in a loop, basically. Then you can schedule something on one screen for a certain period of time. For example, I want to schedule something for one day on one screen, I can do that. This would be a single display event. You can do the same as well for multiple displays. So I want to schedule one thing for one day, but on one, two, three, four, five display, for example, this could be done as well. And here I have the possibility to do a priority event. So a priority event is any type of event that takes over all the other events that were previously scheduled or that will be scheduled in the future. So it means that Nothing else will show about apart from this event specifically. Then of course you can create recurring events. So let's say I want to have something showing every year at the same time. For example, every Christmas, I want my Merry Christmas layout to show. Or every week I have some special offer, you know, every Monday, for example, some special deal. And I want to show it all the time on my screens and you would use a recurring event. And then as well, you have geolocation event. So here, if you have multiple display uh, in a, you know, around the world or in a city or something like that, you could use a geolocation to target specific display very easily, depending on where they are located. So this is as well a way to schedule this. So let's go to the add event uh, to check, you know, how you can do that. So we have, you know, different tabs here on the top, on the, on the top. Um, and here you have the options. Okay, so let's let's do something simple. Let's say that I want to uh, target all my screens, you know, info groups, promo groups. So we will make as well another video to explain you how to create groups. But for the moment, just let's do that. And for the day parting, I will choose custom. Of course, I could choose always. But for this example, let's make it a bit complicated. Let's do custom. And here I will be able to choose date and time of starting. So we're in December, uh, Christmas is approaching. So I will schedule my uh, Christmas promotion. I will start it at 8 a.m. Here we go. Click enter and I will finish it on the day of Christmas uh, in the evening. Here we go at 22. I click enter. So here I have my start time, my end time. Everything is perfect. And I will choose my layout. This is my Christmas promotions layout, which I created previously, of course. And here, I want to make sure that this layout takes over all the other screens, all the other layout on all the screens. So I'll just type priority one. It means that during this week, only this layout will show despite whatever else I scheduled on this display. And I will click save. And you can see here that I have my priority event next to my two other events. So it means that these two other events will not show anymore during this period of time because I scheduled this event in priority. So let's do some other types of scheduling. So let's say, for, for example, that this Christmas promotion, I want to repeat it every year. So that's very simple. I will just click repeat and I will click yearly and I will click every one year here. I will not add any and date. That's perfect for me like this. And it means that it will be a recurring event now. So we click save. And basically, if I go to my year view and I go to next year here and I go to December, I will actually see that for December 2022, I actually have my Christmas layout already scheduled. That's perfect, you know, so I don't need to worry about it for next year. So I will go back to today. Here we go. I will go back to my month view here. I could just switch. I could check week view. I could check day view. You know, month view is usually the best to use. Um, 
and I will schedule something else. I will schedule something a bit more recurring, um, you know, a bit more close. So let's say that I will, it's a promotion. Okay. These are promotions. And I want them to start, for example, every Monday. And I want them to show only between 11 a.m. And I will click here Monday again. And 1 p.m. So if I look closely now, I have something scheduled for one day on the 13th between 11 and 1 p.m. <clears throat> this is my layout here for motions. So ju just leave everything as it is. But now I will go on repeats here and on the repeats, I will click on weekly. So now what I can do <coughs> is that I can choose the days I want it to show and I want it to show on Mondays. And I wanted to show every one week. I will not provide any end date. I could do that, but I will not do it for this example. And I will click save. So now you can see that every Monday I have this event showing exactly the day that I want. It's not showing any other day, just on Mondays. I could of course edit it and I say, oh, eventually I would maybe as well show it on Wednesdays and on Fridays. I will click save and here we go showing on Mondays showing on Wednesdays and as well on Fridays so I scheduled a recurring event so let's say that this event is not needed anymore <coughs> I will simply click on it I have still the details over here and I can click simply delete when I click delete I will click from all display and from all events here we go and now nothing is left same for the priority event. Let's say that I don't need it anymore. I will click on it and click delete here. And I deleted my two events. That's all I have to do. Now the layout will be, you know, not showing anymore on the display. So this is how you can schedule uh, different things. <coughs> Another thing you could do is to use um, geolocation and geoschedule. So in this case, what you could do is say, okay, uh, I have, you know, screens located in different parts of the city and I want to target specific areas. So, but before you do that, it is very important that your display have their um, location added to it. So this is a bit more advanced. So we'll make another video for that. Um, but of course, this is a possibility. So. Overall, this is mostly how you can schedule, you know, layouts and target specific displays. If you have any question, just leave it in the comments. I will be happy to answer it. Um, and uh, I hope this will be very helpful for you to get started with uh, EasyCMS. You take care and see you in the next video. Bye bye.